Ready, ready, talk that boxing right here with Mr. A doing a breakdown and prediction of the fight of Kid Gallahan versus Dennis Kailan on the undercard of Chris Eubank Jr. versus Arthur Abraham, July 15th on ITV pay per view. Now, let's get this going. This first time I heard of these two, so I love fights like this. I watched it, I do the research, and I have no idea anything about either one of these two fighters. So I just watch and I learn. And so far, what I see, I'm looking at Dennis. He has the reach. I, li I like his how he changes his angles or his his, his target. I should say he goes up and down. You know, he, he tries to keep the fighters at the edge of his punches. And I think he's going to need to do that. I believe he, he is the taller one and he has to reach. He's going to have to keep Kid Gallahan at the tip of his punch. Snap that jab, though, because... Dennis had the ten, uh, tendency of a, a lazy punch. He throws his punch real laziness. And his, when he does throw, even though he, he, he's a pressure fighter, a lot of his combinations are pity pats. He doesn't, like, mix anything up in them. Like, he doesn't, like, throw a tester, a one-two tester, and then three, four are real. They're just all quick pity pat punches. And with him doing that, I think eventually Kid Gallahan is going to be able to time that and encounter over that whether it's in the body shots or a, a counter check hook so dennis is gonna have to watch it he's gonna have to mix up his speeds mix up his speeds and the and the the power in the speed of the punches oh dennis is also gonna have to do some movement because he can't afford to just be a target for kid gallahan because he, he's gonna need points and I believe if he could keep Kid Gallahan at the end of his jab and then reset and walk away, get points and force the, the shorter reach of Gallahan, I believe it is a shorter reach, to force the shorter reach to maybe overreach and he could set him up for a check left hook as well. Now, as for Kid Gallahan, he seems to know... He seems to know what to do in the ring. Now, I know he's coming off this uh, comeback of a two-year ban. How much of him is ring rust that I'm seeing? How much of it is just what he's lost? But I'm going to say uh, I, as good as he looked and as he throws all the right punches, he sees all the right punches to throw, when to throw them. It just seems he's thinking a little too much for me. And his punches are just a little bit behind. Even though they're great, correct punches, they seem a little bit behind. And I think um, the longer reach of and the height of Dennis is going to throw problems into that. And and if Dennis is able to throw uh, up the punch combination and up the speed of the fight, I don't know if Kid is going to be able to find all the right counters and be close enough. That's if Dennis could keep him on the edge of those punches. Now, Kid is going to be most likely the smarter IQ in this fight. And that's the breakdown right there. Now it's time for that Mr. A exclusive prediction right here on RRT Boxing. Ready, ready, Mr. A, please subscribe. Prediction time is I'm going to pick Dennis Kalan. Hope that's how you pronounce his name. Dennis is my pick, and I believe that is an upset pick. I'm not too sure. You guys can leave a comment down below who is favored in this fight. I have no idea, but I am picking Dennis. I think he will find the space in between that timing and keep Kid Gallahan on the edge of his punch and win by a mm, split decision. Dennis Kalan over Kid Callahan by split decision. Mr. A for Double RT Boxing. Thank you for your support and please subscribe. See you on the next video. Ready, ready.